This is Quick Rights for A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen. Um, I'm Strudels here and I'm going to tell you about uh, the, A Doll's House and how to start your essay and how to begin everything and I'll give you some context if you need some data to go with. It is based in the Victorian era from 1837 to 1901 named Victorian because of Queen Victoria, the British Queen. It's based on right and wrong, social change, and is highly moralistic, strict on manners because you want to continue the the outward appeal, the superficial qualities. There are many Victorian elements and effects in this book, as women are controlled by men. Torvald and Krogstad try to control Nora, and Lyndon is a widow, and she's used as the foil or opposite to Nora because she's she does not have a husband controlling her. Men and men are in the story as well, as they are full citizens and providers. Torvald and Krogstad treat Nora as a doll as they can control her or pull her by her strings. This is exemplified when Torvald talks to Nora saying, Oh, you don't know a true man's heart, Nora. There's something indescribably sweet and soothing to a man and have forgiven his wife. She becomes his property in a double sense, my bewildered, helpless darling sees Nora as fra frail. He owns her because he thinks she needs him. And he even says verbally that she becomes his property. Even Nora's father called Nora his doll child. The author Ibsen was against the current role of women during the Victorian period and that's why he uses Lyndon as a foil to show that women do not need a husband and that they can stand on their own two feet. So when you're writing an essay, you obviously need a thesis. So I'm going to give you a vanilla thesis that you could use for any for any dollhouse essay. Make sure you don't keep it the same because you don't want to have plagiarism. But uh, you can take out parts, keep it, or take out or put in some more parts. So then you can have a well-written essay. So this is how it begins. In Henrik Ibsen's A Dollhouse, he portrays Nora as a doll, as she is used and controlled by men in the story, and then shows her having a realization at the end, thus showing Ibsen wants to influence society in a Victorian era to have a social change, making women equal citizens. This is important to have how, what, and why. You can re rearrange it as long as you have those three components. How Henrik Ibsen does it is by having a foil, Make sure you can you can add in foil if you want, but what I wrote was having Nora have a realization at the end to, you know, and then what? What he does is have Nora be controlled throughout the story to show that what we have right now and how to change it by having a, you know, showing that it's even possible with the foil of Linden. You can add that to the story, I mean to your essay. And then it talks about the influence of society, which is the why. He wants to influence society to make a societal change, therefore making it a Victorian piece. For your essay, you can have many many th topics to talk about. You can talk about the how, what, and why as three paragraphs. You can also have three paragraphs on um, how Nora con got, controls herself, how Torval controls her, how Krogstad controls her, maybe her father also write about the foil that Lyndon is, how she's the she is the opposite, and how what purpose it has in Henrik Ibsen's story. So this is very important to know about the superficial parts. Make sure you reference the Victorian period, 1837 to 1901. Make sure you can show the role of women during the time period, how they were controlled by the men. Don't forget about uh, men in how they were treated as full citizens and providers and how they treated women as property how they controlled them that quote is very key that helps you you know reference it if you if you were able to put that on your essay i highly recommend it that seems like it pretty much encompasses the whole victorian era with that one paragraph also don't forget how the author saw women you can also include ibsen but make sure you keep it really small because you don't want to consume the whole story on just the author's purpose. Many people fall into that trap. Also, I forgot to mention, for the quote, make sure you don't dip too far into the quote because that's a plot hole. A plot dip. Um, sorry for that. 
it's more of a plot dip as you get into the dip and some people don't come out because they keep talking about the story instead of talking analyzing the story it's very important to analyze the story because this book is about analyzation I don't know if that's a word but yeah it's more how you can analyze the text not if you can read the text and yeah the foil I think is really key because the foil shows purpose to a minor character I mean less uh, that's an important character because Nora is the main character and you have Lyndon as the foil to help you fully grasp on what Ibsen's author's purpose was. So, to recap, Victorian period, women control, men controlling, um, Torvald, Krogstad, control Nora, Nora having a realization, Lyndon, a foil, and yeah, so that's the end of Quick Rites of A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen. This is Strudels and don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment on what book you want me to do a quick write on. If you want to see more reaction videos, if you want to see more quick write videos, just let me know. And yeah, so hope to see you guys next time.